Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and that is classification two. So today I would like us to discuss Kingdom Animalia. So Kingdom Animalia is one of the most advanced kingdoms of taxonomy. And on this kingdom, we have the different types of animals. So first of all, we're we going to study the characteristics. The characteristics of Kingdom Animalia. Uh, first of all, uh, one thing about animals is that they are multicellular they are multicellular and eukaryotic And when we say that uh, they are multicellular, we mean that uh, they are made of multiple cells, many cells. They are eukaryotic in that their nucleus is bound within the nuclear membrane. Kingdom Animalia lack cellulose cell wall. They also lack chlorophyll, hence are heterotrophic. Heterotrophic meaning that uh, they rely on already synthesized foods. So they do not make their own food, they rely on already synthesized food. So they are heterotrophic. They lack cellular cell wall or their cells lack a cellular cell wall. And we have also seen that uh, they are multicellular, many cells and eukaryotic. Uh, in terms of uh, reproduction uh, reproduction is both sexual which is the main one and asexual so we have a few cases that have asexual reproduction where we don't have the use of gametes Uh, also, the kingdom animalia, they have locomotion. They have locomotion, while a few are sessile. They have locomotion, or they can move from one point to another or they can dislocate, they can uh, displace their body from one position to another. So when they can displace the position of their entire body from one position to another, then we say that they have locomotion as the type of movement. But we have a few that are sessile. Sessile means that they are anchored on the substratum. That means that uh, they are not able to move from one position to the other because they are anchored on a, on a particular uh, substrate or on a particular substratum. So in the kingdom animalia, 
we are going to discuss two main phyla or two main phyla we have phylum arthropoda and phylum codata so we'll say that uh, in kingdom animalia we shall discuss only two phyla the plural of phylum is phyla is not that there are only two phyla but there are many there are about nine of them but we are only required to discuss two we are required to discuss two phyla i.e that is phylum arthropoda and two phylum codata so starting with the first one we'll start with number one which is the phylum arthropoda and that is the phylum that consists of the arthropods uh, the arthropods that we have there they can either be arachnids like the spiders the mites we can also have uh, the insecta where we have the insects the crustaceans like the crabs all those they are members of the phylum arthropoda so first of all we look at uh, the characteristics the characteristics of the phylum arthropoda a is that their bodies are covered by an exoskeleton exoskeleton made of chitin made of a certain uh, substance that is known as chitin so the exoskeleton is an external skeleton and this exoskeleton limits growth and has to be shed periodically has to be shed periodically through a process called molting molting or ecdysis so in as much as uh, there is that exoskeleton covering the body and of course it's protective it has a certain limitation in that it limits growth and that's why after a certain duration of time that exoskeleton needs to be shed or it needs to be removed so that growth can continue and the shedding of that exoskeleton is called molting or ecdysis another characteristic of the members of the phylum arthropoda is that they have jointed appendages or jointed limbs you find that uh, their limbs both the fore limbs and the hind limbs they are jointed those are the ones we are referring to as the jointed appendages they also have segmented bodies they have bodies that are segmented
also their bodies are divided into body parts that is either two or three body parts. So we have those that have two body parts. When we get into the classes, we will identify them. And then we have those that are divided into three body parts. So their bodies are divided into either two or three uh, body parts. Some have antennae for sensitivity. Not all of them. We also have some have wings. Again, not all of them. We have some have simple eyes while others have compound eyes. So basically those are the characteristics that are used to uh, put uh, the various animals into phylum arthropoda. The phylum arthropoda, they have an exoskeleton, a hard external skeleton that is made of chitin. And that exoskeleton needs to be shed uh, periodically uh, during molting or ecdysis. They have jointed appendages, jointed limbs. They have segmented bodies. They have two or three body parts. Some have antennae for sensitivity while others do not have. Some have wings. Some have simple eyes, while others have compound eyes. Uh, in terms of uh, other characteristics, in terms of other characteristics, uh, they have what we call an open circulatory system open circulatory system uh, where blood flows in the open cavity or in the body cavity called hemocoil. They have open circulatory system where blood flows in the body cavity that is called uh, the hemocoil. So those are some of the characteristics. And at that point, we'll have an assignment. The first question in the assignment, state four characteristics of kingdom animalia. Two, name the two main phyla in the kingdom animalia. And three, state three characteristics that are unique to phylum arthropoda. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music>